Okay, I'm going to show you in three easy videos, three quick videos, um, how to use Bloomberg to get the data you need to do with the individual projects. So the first thing you need to do is open up Bloomberg, start Bloomberg. Um, the screen that you come to won't look like this because I'm already in Bloomberg, but you want to hit the pause, break, con, default button. It's in the corner, it's a red button that logged me out but you'll see this screen to log in if you don't have an account if you don't have an account you can follow the instructions on this white piece of paper you can't see it but it's there on the next to the tower computer very easy in five steps how to create an account email me if you have any problems so after you log in you'll come up with this screen uh, the top command line up here, type EQS, don't hit enter, and it automatically populates um, the different functions and different securities that match the EQS, uh, ec or, you know, close to it, equity screening is what we want, click on that, and here you'll have two different um, tabs over here. These are example screens that are already created. Here you want to build edit a screen. So that's what you want to do. Uh, screen builder, the green button up here. And you want to pick, um, there's two different views. There's the advanced screening mode and the screen builder mode. You want to go into uh, either one is okay. Um, I'll show you how to use them in different ones. Uh, so you want to go into the advanced, I'm sorry, the screen builder mode and click on um, exchanges. You want to pick uh, the first screen which is the exchanges that these stocks are traded on. So in North America, United States, any of the NASDAQs, once you click it, you'll see it pop up here. You, if you make a mistake, you can hit the red X. Just click the ones you want, which are NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange, um, and double check on the instructions for the project that you have all the ones you want. When you're done and ready, hit update, and it will apply the filters. Um, the next one we're going to do is on dividend so go to analytics click here to add analytics single data point next in here div dividend yield that popped up there next period type fiscal year 2010 next you want the dividend yield to be greater than next numerical value of zero finish okay so you want to do this again for each year for each year back to 2005 because that's the instructions for the, for the project
now we have our five um, dividend screens 2010, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5 for the, for the last five years. We hit next. Go back to advanced screening mode. So now you can see there are 444,000 plus securities in the security universe that Bloomberg detects. The first screen is that they're actively traded, results in 63,000. The next is that they trade on the exchanges we selected, results in 3,481. 3, uh, 3, and the results of all our dividend screens results in 82 screens. Now let's select uh, the sector. So from the universe criteria up here, you can select sector. And let's select basic materials, just for example. That results in four securities. Now that's not enough securities because uh, we need to about, I think it was 18 or something. Uh, so let's let's change that. Here's the sector one. To edit it, just click it once. Hit edit. Now let's click consumer goods and get rid of basic materials. Update. There was uh, another um, let's go to screen builder. There's another uh, filter we need and that is go to universe and state number 16. United States. Just click on United States. Update. That means uh, home country is the United States. Next. All right, and then advanced screening mode. Now you can see that there's only seven. We need more than that. So. Change the sector. Edit. Oops, you don't want to exclude that. Let's select financials. 23, that's more than enough. Um, if you have problems with this and you keep uh, after doing the screens resulting in very little stocks, there may be something wrong with the way you're doing the screens? If so, uh, send me an email or come meet with me and we'll figure it out. So when you're done, hit results. And this is the results of all 23 stocks. Uh, you can do things here, play with it. There's a whole lot of stuff you can do from this screen. You could even add a column, EPS, earning per shares, but that will just add the current data for these stock tickers and short name. Okay, so you want to output Excel all securities. So that's going to output this table into Excel. You're going to get this message of the file you're trying to open is in another format. Do you want to open it? Yes. And there you go. There's your data.